Paddling TV is brought to you by Old Town and the new Camden family of recreational kayaks. Affordable but loaded with a richness of features not found on most rec kayaks. Check out the new Camden kayaks at OldTownCanoe.com. Although it's possible to re-enter a sit-inside kayak on your own, it's one of those techniques that takes training and a lot of practice, and it's not something we're going to look at in depth. What we're going to focus on instead is a way to re-enter a sit-inside kayak with the help of a friend. The first order of business is to flip your boat upright if it's upside down. When your boat is upside down, air is trapped inside, which prevents water from flooding the interior. So when you're flipping it upright, you want to do so as quick as possible to minimize how much water you scoop inside. With the kayak upright, your paddling partner can stabilize the kayak as you get back in. A partner can actually provide an incredible amount of stability although it requires a lot of commitment on his or her part. To stabilize someone's kayak, bring their boat in parallel to yours. You'll then get a good grip on the kayak and lean your body onto the boat. As long as you have a good grip on the kayak, there's very little chance that you'll flip. The swimmer can then hop back into their boat using the same re-entry technique we looked at with the sit-on tops. To get back into a sit-on side that is being stabilized, position yourself alongside the kayak just behind the seat and grab the cockpit rim, which provides a nice handle. Let your legs float to the surface behind you, and then with a powerful kick and push of the arms, haul your chest up and onto the stern. Lying chest down, turn your head towards the stern and slide your legs into the cockpit. You'll then twist your body and corkscrew your way back into the seat. Of course, when you're done, you're going to have a boat full of water to deal with. And that's why in most cases, you'll want to bring along a bilge pump. Although a bilge pump is a great piece of safety gear for any sit-inside kayak, you should also make a practice of always paddling close enough to shore so that you can easily head to dry land and empty your boat there. In some cases, swimmers simply won't have the strength or energy to haul their bodies onto the kayak to re-enter. In these cases, the scoop rescue might be the only option. The idea behind the scoop is that the swimmer will float back into their swamped kayak and then rely on the rescuer to haul them upright. As the rescuer, you'll set yourself up just as you did while stabilizing their kayak and hold the kayak on edge. Once the swimmers slid themselves as far into the kayak as they can, they need to lean all the way back onto their stern deck to lower their center of gravity while you pull up hard on the cockpit combing and upright their swamp kayak. Once they're upright, you'll need to continue to stabilize their boat because they're going to have a lot of water pumping to do and they'll be very unstable. <laughs> 